to star test the computer interview it's just the two of us here but viewers will be phoning in during the show to vote on whether or not you are telling the truth <laughs> if they believe you there will be the chance to play a clip from your latest video right if not a mystery forfeit will appear in its place so please try to answer my questions honestly here are nine categories of questions. Please select a category by simply touching the screen. Before and after. Please choose any number. Nine. What is your earliest memory? Um, my earliest memory was when my mum took me to school when I was five, the first time I went to school, and I, I thought that my mum stayed with me. And I discovered differently when I got there that she was leaving. And I remember hanging on to the teacher's tights and I ripped them to shreds. And I think she probably hated me from that day until I left. Twelve. How would you describe your favourite childhood toy? Um, I think it was probably Bugs Bunny. I had a Bugs Bunny when you pulled the string out the back and it was like, hey, what's up, Doc? Did stuff like that, which we pulled and pulled until we broke it. That's my favourite toy, yeah. Five. How many of your school friends do you still keep in touch with? None, actually, none. Um, I don't think I've actually seen any school friends since I was 15. Hardly any. I, I, I haven't even heard of them anymore. Sad but true. Six. Which is the most valuable piece of advice you have been offered? To be patient, I guess. I'm not a very patient person, but I'm learning. I'm learning. Eight. What would you like to have been if you had had a different career? Uh, I, I think it would have to be something to do with the entertainment, probably um, a makeup artist, but uh, <laughs> a dancer. But I think the, the main one was a, a model. I, I desperately wanted to be a, a catwalk model, too. If you could relive one moment of your life, which would it be? Um. I suppose it would be when Mel and myself got our first break, as Mel and Kim. Um, when we did our first TV. That was good. That was a buzz. Now, please select a new category. Inside Out. Please choose any number. Seven. Which animal best describes your personality? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Probably a, a cat. A fluffy... ...sweet thing. Quite wild once. Provoked. One. What brings out the worst in you? Hmm. I think when things are not going right for me, then I tend to worry and make things bigger than what they really are, um, I become very miserable and I sulk and I can be a bit of a drama queen. Not very nice, really. Three. 
What was it like being pregnant at the same time as your own mother? <laughs> you guys have really done your homework, haven't you? <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I was very young at the time. I, I guess it was company, I guess. And we had the same things to talk about. 13. How does stress affect you? Badly. <laughs> Badly, I, I, if I get too stressed, I can get all these knots in my stomach and I can, it can really pull me down, actually. My skin goes all grey and I get quite spotty um, and quite miserable. Stress is a bad thing for me. Nine. How much of yourself do you see in your daughter? Uh, I see a lot of me and my daughter. Um, she has a lot of common sense, which I, I like a lot. She's quite strong, which is good. She has a sense of humour. Um, she's tall. <laughs> quite a bit. Six. What do you worry about? Oh, loads of things, loads of things. Too many to mention. I'm, I'm a born worrier. I, I can worry about anything. Now, please select a new category. <sighs> Bread and butter. Please choose any number. Nine. Would you carry on working as you are now if there was no money in it? Yes, most definitely. Most definitely. I enjoy what I do. Money is just a perk, if you like, of, of the job. But um, absolutely, oh yeah, this is what I like to do. This is the only thing I know how to do. Um, yes, I would. Six. What was your first job? Oh, gosh, my first job. I think my first job was working in a, a food store on the till, which was very boring. I hated it. I hated it so much. I think I only lasted there three weeks, which was a record for me because I could never hold a job. <laughs> What do you most regret buying? Um, oh, I buy a lot of things that I regret. I, I, I tend to buy clothes and stuff that I like once I'm in the shop and then I get home and I try it on and I don't like it. I tend to give them away. Mainly clothes. Three. Do you have an extravagant lifestyle? No, I don't. Not at all. Not at all. Um, I'm quite a home bug, actually. I used to be quite a wild person when I was younger, clubbing and stuff like that. But um, I tend to be very homely now. I, I prefer to have friends around and, and stuff and entertain at home. So, no, I'm not extravagant. Eleven. What do you look for in a manager? <laughs> um, a brain. Uh, a commitment, I guess, um, intelligence, a rapport is very important, um, and someone that understands me, which is very important. Fourteen. What was your response to former manager Alan Whitehead calling Mel and you a couple of ungrateful brats? <laughs> I thought that was funny. I thought... <laughs> Oh gosh, um, it didn't matter. We, we, people tend to do and say things when they're bitter. Seven. What is your vision of pure luxury? Ladies, the mysteries of the stars. Your vision of pure luxury. It's doing no housework. No housework, no washing, no cooking. That's my idea of luxury. Now, please select a new category. Faith and fortune. Please choose any number. Nine. Name some of your superstitions. Um, I won't walk under a ladder. I never cut my nails on a Friday. <laughs> Um, I won't put new shoes on the table. It's bad luck until I've worn them. 
Um, and if I put something on inside out, I won't change it back, because that's supposed to be bad luck, too. Uh, that's the ones I can remember. <laughs> Two. Which religion are you closest to? I'm not. I'm not. Eight. Which characteristics associated with your zodiac sign do you display? Um, perfection, perfectionist, critical, very critical. Um, can be quite talkative. I'm ruled by the planet of communication. Um, fussy and analyze people too much sometimes, I think. Five. What is the greatest risk you've ever taken? Um, I think, oh, loads of things, but one that springs to mind was maybe coming back to work and, and trying to pick up where I left off from before. I think that was a risk. Four. What was the last bet you placed? I had a bet with a girl at the office that well, she actually had a bet with me that she bet me that Don't Worry would be a top three record and I said it would be a top five. I bet her 200 quid and she won. Six. How optimistic are you about the future of the world? Oh, I think... I don't think it's over yet. I'm very optimistic about the future of the world. You know, I think things will, will get better eventually. I just think we just have to learn to, to just be a bit more giving and uh, sometimes think of others before we think of ourselves. Seven. Do you believe in ghosts? Mm. Yes, I do, actually. I do believe in ghosts very strongly. Thirteen. Which do you trust in more? Your mind or your heart? My instincts. <laughs> Which is your favourite city? Um, I think probably Amsterdam. I like Amsterdam. What car do you drive? Um, <laughs> a Peugeot. Which is your favourite fruit? Banana. Banana. What do you wear in bed? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> What's your favourite sport? Um, tennis. I like tennis. Where did you last go on holiday? Um, where did I last go? Oh, uh, a nice little island in Spain. Which is your favourite pop group? Um, Oh, gosh. I quite like MC Hammer. I like the humour. select a new category. Sweet and sour. Please choose any number. Nine. Are you a slave to fashion? No, I'm not. Not at all. I hate people that are as well. I'm not a fashion victim, never have been. I think uh, as a kid I always try to, to look different from everyone else. <laughs> And I'd usually wear the fashion once it had gone out because <laughs> no one else was wearing it. Oh, that's the only time I could afford it. Three. Do you have a hidden talent? If I have, I'm yet to find it. <laughs> Seven. What is the worst review you've had? Um. I don't know, I suppose really in the early days when Mel and myself had just broken into the limelight and uh, people 
people who say we were puppets, and uh, I think, no, yes, I remember Jonathan King called us abominable, I think it was, and said, uh, said some pretty nasty things. That was the worst, I think. And for the whole day, that really hurt us, and the next day we didn't care anyway, because we had a few things to say too. Eight. Which is your best physical feature? Mm. <laughs> I suppose my legs. <sighs> They're quite long. One. What sort of people make you feel uncomfortable? Um, people that are too quiet. I don't like people that are a bit deep. I haven't got much to say for themselves. Um, but in saying that, people that are sometimes too loud as well. Um, devious people, I guess. Twelve. How do you feel about the way the press handled Mel's illness? Hmm. Um, obviously, I think that the one particular newspaper handled it very badly. Um, but I don't... Uh, Begrudge. Don't be I don't bear any malice. Um, they've got a job to do and they're going to do it anyway, whether you like it or not. So uh, I don't really think about it. I don't really think about it. It's in the past. It doesn't matter. Ten. Who is your best friend? Craig. My mum. Yeah, I would say. My family. Fifteen. What sort of people do you most like? I like funny people. I like people that make me laugh a lot. I like that. I like realistic, down-to-earth people. Um, I like genuine people. Um, friendly, outgoing, basically. Thirteen. What did Craig tell you were his reasons for leaving Bross? <laughs> he just wasn't happy. Now, please select a new category. Mm. Power and glory. Please choose any number. Four. How do you explain the fact that most people are less successful than you? Oh, I don't know if I can explain that. I think that... I think life is what you make it, and I think it's been in the right place at the right time has a lot to do with it as well. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think that's probably a bit unfair. One. How private do you like to keep your private life? Very private. Um, I have a work and I have my home life. I don't like, I, I don't understand people that let photographers into their home. And they're like pointing at the living room and stuff. I think that, um, I think that's really tacky. That's not something that I would choose to do. So, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm a very private person actually, very private. Seven. Did you win any prizes at school? Oh gosh. I think I probably won a, a prize in art. I came third in art, and the first prize was a bike. And I remember I ran home crying because the bike is what I set my heart on, and I didn't get it. But um, I think I probably won something like a pencil case. That's third position. Two. What do you find toughest about being out on your own? Um... Gosh, I don't know, I suppose I get a bit lonely sometimes. Um, that's it. Fourteen. How has success changed you? I don't think it's changed me at all. I just have a bank account and a dishwasher now. Um, I think I'm still the same person. Um, it's just obviously my... My lifestyle was more comfortable than it was before. But I haven't changed, she says.
Thank you for playing Star Test. Thank you. <laughs> How do you feel at the end of the interview? Fine, fine. It's quite an experience, actually. <laughs> what question would you have liked to have been asked? Am I happy, I guess? Who would you like to see in the Star Test chair? Craig. You are now invited to select five characteristics from the on-screen menu, which you feel best illustrate your personality. Mm, reliable. <laughs> Open. Stubborn. Indecisive. And shy, I guess. The phone call results show that most viewers are happy you have been telling the truth. Good. I'm happy to hear that. Three clues to my next mystery guest. 